So we're live at the Emirates Arena, just next door to Celtic Park for day two of World Championship Badminton action. Some incredible finals we've seen already today. You can keep in touch on social media as well. Keep your comments coming in. Use the hashtag 2017BWC. Lots of players tweeting today as well. You can catch up on all of that action. We've just seen Chris and Gabby Adcox through to round three in the mixed doubles. And we've got more mixed doubles action for you up next from Chinese Taipei. Seng Ming Hao and Hu Ling Feng. They're up against Tontawi Ahmed and Liliana Natsia from Indonesia. Well, Ahmed and Natsia will be looking to progress. They've got a tough Taipei pair up next. You can see there the siblings from Ireland, Sam and Chloe McGee, are already through to round three after that three-game win earlier against the 16 seed Japanese opposition. So the McGee's waiting for the winner of this match in round three. So the umpires and officials making their way out to court will welcome the players out through in first. You've got Xiang Ming Hao and Hu Ling Feng from Chinese Taipei and well, a pair that needs little introduction, really. Tontawi Ahmed, Liliana Natsia. Dressed in bright red, representing their country colours, red and white of Indonesia. Let me get ready for... Elaine Kong, Lillian. our umpire for oh. today's mixed mm -hmm. doubles, red. to call the okay. toss of the coin. Black, your choice. Receive, Receive. who receives? Okay. We chose receive. Which side? Okay, which side? Okay. So Tontawi and Liliana will take the nearest side of the court, bottom of your screens. And it's going to be Hu Ling Feng to receive serve. Liliana Natsia, the 31-year-old from Manado in Indonesia. Currently ranked number three in the world. She has, of course, been up at world number one with Nova Woodyanto, very Successful pairing in mixed doubles, of course. Multiple major title winner. But she's also won major titles with this man, Tontawi Ahmed. 30 years of age from Banyumas in Indonesia. And yes, currently ranked number three, but Still riding high off the back of that Olympic gold medal win last summer. This is Hu Ling Feng, 19 years of age. From Kaohsiung, Chinese Taipei. Ranked currently number 37 in the world, up at their career high with her partner, Seng Ming Hao. Dressed in the bright orange shirt, 29 years of age. Also from Kaohsiung. Ready to play. Players. There's Elaine Kong, our umpire for today. Ready to She'll play. She'll be supported. Bye. Diraj Gunedre. Last chance to take on some fluid for a few moments before we get this match underway. On court. Chinese Taipei. What do you think, Steen? Tontawi Ahmed, Liliana and Natsia, are they in the Ooh. kind of form okay. you'd hope On to court. see them in to perhaps make it through to take this title? 
Yeah, that's what we we're about to find out. Uh, a bit like the other two matches with uh, Chris and Gabiak. I see how is the uh, service situation, so to speak, with um, with Gabiak and uh, how about Chung Wei? I see something more to come with and, and uh, yeah, Chung Wei. Ladies and that gentlemen, was, um, on my right, Liliana Natsir. That was the case. It was Ahmad, not in um, Indonesia. Good enough shape. Uh, Good enough um, and on my left, mental balance. Hao, Whereas Fu um, Ling Fong, Chinese yeah, yeah, Taipei. Liliana Natsir to serve to Fu Ling Fong. That's what we're looking to see, that, but, uh, we're looking to see here with uh, Liliana Natsir. How is um, her knee behaving? Because she's had trouble with that right knee. Um, yeah, wow. ever since they won the Olympics, actually. Uh, here we can see the uh, strapping on it. Play the uh, Indonesia Open. Two, love. Uh, well, like the rest of us, Steen, she's uh, not getting any younger, 31 years of age now. I'm interested to find out from you, Steen, whether you think... You've seen a little more badminton, I have no doubt, but uh, whether you think... Oh, great mid play there. Yeah, back in return of serve and a good follow-up on the forehand from Hu Ling Feng. Yeah, sorry, Steen, whether you think Liliana Natia and Tom Tawi Ahmed make three, a better mixed one. doubles pair than she did with Nova Urianto? Hmm, that's an easy question. Because <laughs> Ahmad and Natia, they won the Olympic gold and Nova and Natia won the Olympic silver. So that should... That should be the end of that. So that's the end of that conversation. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Service Thank you very over. much. I, Two, I three. think that um, Ahmad and Nasir, when they play at their absolute top level, um, they probably are better than when Nova and Nasir played at top level. But they have um, a much lower, uh, low level, so to speak, and they they often. Um, when they, when they drift just a little bit about Service their top over. level, you, Four, you can play with two. them and you have a chance. Okay. Okay, well, we'll see how this... But that's just my opinion. I mean, there might be others that have different opinions. No, it's okay. So uh, it's only your so, opinion that matters right this second, Steen. So. Five, two. Left leg jump out smash from Seng. I mean, how a moment ago, judged to have been long of the back line. Service it's a shame. Over. For Three, the pair five. from Taipei. They're looking to go at this Indonesian experienced pair here by the looks of it. Pressure at the forecourt Seven, from Liliana Natsia. Eight, three. That when she first gets it, it's really, really tough to get returns away from her again. Nine, three. Yeah, she's a very dominant force in that forecourt. Yeah, and you, you don't really want to get her started there, in my opinion. So, as long as you can push Ten, her away from that net. That's three. difficult when she's uh, serving herself and, and serving well. Service over. Forehand smash Four, from Tontawi Ahmed wide. Service over. 11-4 interval. 
Well, how many minutes did that take? Around four minutes, I think, Steen. Yeah, four minutes. Just, just changed to four minutes. Santawi Ame, Liliana Nati are looking dominant already in this match. We're only halfway through game one. Scoreline 11 4. Moniki, Indonesian coach. Good cross smash. Yu oh. Ling Feng with the power from the deep rear corner. And this is where Vision read of the game. Trump power. Excellent block by Liliana Nasir. four. Great backhand this time from Seng Min Hao. Five, twelve. Kept this one just inside the court. Twelve. Looking pretty good with the mid-court game. Steen, these two. From Taipei, Seng Ming Hao very confident with the racket skills in the midcourt. We saw a moment ago Hu Ling Feng looks pretty happy at the back of the court too. Oh. Seven. Indecision from Liliana Natsia on the back line. She managed to get away with it for a moment. Rally of the match Eight. so far, probably. 13. Error from Tontawi Ahmed. That's twice we've seen him misjudge that jump out forehand. Perhaps it's that fresh, that fresh haircut he's got. It's changed his aerodynamics. Nine, from, uh, 13. Shot. Yeah, very short action. It's a short swing backhand. Really impressive. Um, uh, skills and like movement, very, very short uh, swing. Something help. Service over. 14 9. Of course, mixed doubles, the most, in my opinion, the most tactical discipline 
uh, of the five. Because you have uh, differences in um, physique. Yes, absolutely. He trains so much to try to keep the attack Service with over. a man Ten. typically at the back 14. and the woman at the front. But when things don't go your way, you also need to train to cope with the pressure when you're out of position. So there's so many different ways in which you can handle that pressure and get out of that trouble. Makes for a really fascinating Service tactical over. battle sometimes. 15, 10. Call. Mixed doubles, Service perhaps, over. Steam. We were talking earlier about the dominance 11, in 15. Chinese badminton over the years. Perhaps still the one discipline where you could argue China still have the, the upper hand. You've got Liliana and Ton Taui here, but otherwise three out of the top four seeds in this event, all Chinese. Yeah. Service over, uh, 16, 11. Definitely uh, a strong category of discipline for, for China. <laughs> Um, to say men's doubles, they have a, a depth in the uh, uh, roster. Uh, men's singles 12, with uh, Chen Long and Dan that are only seated uh, five to eight, and Xiu Chi also deep. champion in the mixed doubles. Yes, of course. Uh, I don't recall precisely. You can tell me, Steam, but was it Zhao Yunlei and Zhang Nan won it last time? It was. Zhang Nan still in it with the chance to uh, retain his title, but of course Zhao Yunlei is uh, retired. Service over. 17-12. Yeah. Two bronze medals and a title in 2013 to add to uh, the two world championships that Lucia has won with uh, Noah Vidianto and um, one silver as well. Great drive from Tontawi Ahmed. He saw Seng Ming Hao. Guess for the cross court, I think, and just opted for the brush straight down the line. Yeah, very capable mixed doubles pair. So many Super Series wins over the years. Most recently, that Indonesia Open win, of course, their home event. Service over. 13, yeah, that was that was 19. actually quite impressive because uh, um, his knee didn't look any better than it does today. Actually, perhaps a little worse. But, uh, and they went dire straight in. Um, First and second round, but uh, managed to survive. Service over. 20, and, um, game point, 13. Well, game point here, Tontawi Ahmed for Indonesia with the serve. And the change game. of pace in attack. First game, Seng Ming Hao with the error. And that hands the opening game 13. to the Indonesians. Tontawi Ahmed, Liliana Natia leading 21-13. Yes, Dean, if um, Nancy has been struggling with that knee, it's very impressive to come through that tough event, the Indonesian Open. Also, the um, China Open, I believe they won that Super Series Premier, one of the highest Super Series Premier events there is. Incredible performance, really, on the back of that Rio Olympics win to win those two Super Series titles. Multiple winner, of course, of the All England as well. Liliana Natsia, at least, 
He's won it three times. I'm not sure if all of those were with Tawi Ahmed, most likely. I think he won it three times in a row. I'm not sure, but um, might have been with Nova in that case. No, it was with um, it was with uh, what? seconds. Port one, 20 seconds. Yeah, 2012, 13 and 14. Uh, she and um, Tintobi Ahmad won the All England. On court, Jeng. Well, more than capable, as you say, and without last year's winners. Second game. Love Chang Nan, Zhao Yan Mei in the competition together, at least. And Zhang Yan, Zhao Yan Lei at the last World Champion One, chips that put out these two Indonesians. That went to three. 21 12 in the third. Great accuracy on the backhand for Liliana Natia. Perfect flat lift. Close. Just Service kept over. it in the court. One, two. Good defense from Taipei. Taking the pace off to find the open space as well. Two, oh. yeah, Finally, Steve, we see Liliana Nazia around the back of the court where the Taipei yeah. pair would like her. Yeah, there's a, there's a really uh, clear blueprint to uh, to beat Nasir and Ahmad. It's uh, flick Nasir, get her away from the net, and play uh, Santori Ahmad below the table. Three, two. Uh, that that's basically um, that's basically the game plan to beat the Indonesians, but. <laughs> To execute it, that's a whole different ball game. That's not so easy because, of course, they will do their very best to sabotage that game plan. Yeah, of course, when the Indonesians are dictating the rally, not so easy to choose where you can put the shuttle. Sometimes it's just out of necessity. Better attacking, though, from Taipei. Four, two. Excellent attack and shows oh. some of the skills they displayed at the Olympics where they won quite convincingly. Yeah, great touch from Liliana Nancia taking the pace off the shot at the last moment. Service over. Five. Snatched four. at that shot in the midcourt, however. Liliana Natia, perhaps or arguably one of the best mixed doubles players, certainly in today's game, perhaps to have ever lived. I mean, China, very accomplished previous China players in mixed doubles, of course, as well, Steen. Yeah, one of the things that um, counts for Nasir is that she's won with two different partners, in my opinion, and um, 
three world championships. There's no one else that has won uh, three world championships in, uh, in mixed doubles, no female players. So, um, in terms of accomplishments, she's, um, she's very big. We're not about that. I'm surprised uh, Gao Ling or um, Zhao Yunlei herself perhaps kept, would have come close to that, but perhaps yeah, but that's, not quite that's also that's also incorrect what I'm telling you because Zhao Yunlei has also got three uh -huh. uh, world championships: 11, 14, and 15. Well, these two are on a par. If uh, Liliana Natia can make it one war, then she could arguably be the best mixed doubles player of all time. Service over. Six, seven. The thing is, with this of all time, it's really, really hard to um, um, to compare, in my opinion, because um, now we're having the Worlds every year. Once it was uh, every uh, second year, and in the beginning every third year. It's, uh, it's so incredibly difficult to to compare results. That's a rally there for Taipei. Doing well to get out of trouble. Yes, Dean, you're absolutely right. And also Seven. Oh. players of different eras, different strengths. It's hard to compare when you've got, let's say, for example, in the men's singles today, or of the last or this current era, Chong Wei and Lin Dan. Without Lin Dan, Chong Wei, no doubt, would have been more accomplished in terms of his results. We, we, we can assume, but we don't know for sure. We don't know for sure, of course. Yeah. Service over, eight, seven. But nowadays, you play tournaments year-round and uh, play in air-conditioned stadiums Nine, with... Uh, gear that's been developed uh, one of the Danish greats, the former Erling Kops, um, said once when uh, he was asked whether how he would do if he played uh, Paul Eric Hoyer, I would win. Because Paul Eric Hoyer wouldn't be able to lift the racket I was playing with. He was so heavy in his opinion, so... <laughs> um, he was confident that uh, if they could compare eras that uh, he was going to come out on top. A relentless attack from Tontawi Ahmed, but to yeah. that point, Taipei were equal to it. Interval. Not exactly an unforced error, but a shame for Hu Ling Feng not to have been able to scrape that smash back over the net. And once again, we've got Indonesia ahead at the break. Game two, mid game interval, they're up 11 7. <laughs> Eleven seven play. Well, they're on the right track here. Tuntoi Ahmad and Liliana Nasir gave up an eleven seven. Need the interval here because they finished this match in uh, straight games. Won the Olympics in uh, straight games in all matches. That's an accomplishment, in my opinion. Incredible accomplishment. Yes, not to drop the game. Eleven. strange outcome if you look back at the draws from the Olympics when the Adcocks went out and Ju Chen Ma Jin went through that group with the Polish pair and then that side of the draw really opened up service call, call. service over 12 8 <laughs> I see that left arm go up. 13. 
Eight. But then again, it's not where the left arm finishes, it's where the racket hits the shuttle. And that can sometimes be a little bit more difficult to judge correctly uh, in live speed. Particularly with the flick serve scene, yes, it's such Eight. a fast movement. I, I, it's very hard to judge how a service judge is able to really see where the shuttle was struck from. Such a high speed. I remember some some debate 17, fairly recently, eight. some talk about them setting an exact height for the yeah, level of the right. serve. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. There's this debate about doing that. So the taller players argue that uh, give them a disadvantage. I mean, they say that um, every, um, every Nine, size has 15. its own uh, built-in disadvantages and advantages. If you're a tall player, then um, you've got a bigger body to move around and twist and turn and so on. So that's an advantage to the smaller players. One of the advantages the taller players have that they can Service launch their serve 16, some centimeters nine. higher. Uh, so yeah. it's interesting to see how that will unfold in the future. Service return. Service over. But, uh, Ten. I'm feeling that Sixteen. It's, I used to call uh, garbage time. That um, the match is more or less decided. It's just a matter of the uh, size of the victory. But then again, we saw Li Chung Wei come from behind, down nine sixteen against the uh, Luis Levades. Win over. that second game only 17, to uh, ten. jeopardize everything in uh, the decider. So, of course, we can't rule that out, but yeah, nothing, what a, nothing that's indicated that the who and uh, thing is about to over. claw their way back here. 11, 17. Liliana Natsia missing with that forehand kill, that one drifting just wide of the court. Yeah, absolutely, Steen. That was a tremendous atmosphere in, that, uh, in the stadium at that stage when... Chong Wei came 18, from behind at the end 11. of that second game. And a nice first round for Martin Nasir, especially if that knee is still um, a little bit injured. And it must admit, it seems like it's not totally 19, um, top fit. Big smash from Ahmed round the head, straight down the tram lines. Good pressure, Ahmed himself. No stranger to a kill 20. at the net. Match point, 11. Accuracy on the kill into the right shoulder of Hu Ling Fan. And Ahmed serving now, 2011 at match point. Great backhand from Liliana Nassia. That's the end of this mixed doubles. Another match, another round one victory. That's gone the way it should go on paper, at least. Number three seeds Liliana Nassia and Tartawi Ahmed through in straight games. Confirmation there on your screen of that score in 20 minutes. 21-13, 21-11. So, as we said earlier, they're going to be facing brother and sister pairing from Ireland. The McGee's in the next round. Let's take a quick look back at the best of the action from this mixed doubles round one match.
So we're right next door to Celtic Park in the Emirates Arena, the venue built for the 2014 Commonwealth Games, used once again here for the Total BWF World Championships 2017. We're five day two matches through the schedule. Next up, we've got women singles, the former world junior champion, and our number one seed from Japan, Akani Yamaguchi. And she's got tough opposition now today here from Denmark, Lena Kersfeldt. So a quick look at the draw then in the women's singles. This particular part of the draw, at least, we saw earlier. Chen Yu Fei from China, world junior champion herself. She's through to round three, and she's going to be facing the winner of this match that we're about to see, Akani Yamaguchi, Lena Kersfeldt.